In this video, we're going to show how to rip songs from a CD to your computer and also in the next video do the opposite, copy songs from your computer to an audio CD. For both of these tasks, we're going to use Windows Media Player, which is a program that any Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer should have on it. All right, so that's going to be our first step. In this video, we're going to concentrate on copying songs from an audio CD to our computer. So the first step is going to be opening Windows Media Player. So you want to go to the Start menu, and you can just search for Windows Media Player. This is what it looks like in Windows 8. And there we have it, Windows Media Player. The next step while we have this open is to insert the audio CD that we want to copy songs from. So I just inserted my audio CD. It should be popping up here in a second. There it is, Janet Jackson. I'm going to pause that because we don't want to listen to it right now. All right, so here's all the songs on the CD. And Windows Media Player usually finds album information and puts it here automatically. All right, so now that we have the CD in, there should be two options that are shown here, RIP CD and RIP settings. RIP means copy from the audio CD to the computer. So when we hit RIP CD, it's going to start copying these songs from the CD to our computer. But there's two things that we want to take care of first. First, we want to say, what formats do we want the files to be? Do we want them to be MP3s or WAV files or something else? And then the other thing we want to do is tell Windows Media Player where to copy these files. So that's in RIP settings. If you go to RIP settings and then format, you'll see the different formats that Windows Media Player supports. And the two that I would recommend looking at is MP3 and WAV. So first difference between these two is the size of the file. MP3 files are very small and WAV files are much bigger. So um, it's much easier to fit a bunch of MP3 files on an MP3 player or your phone or something like that. So if that's how you plan to use it, MP3 is the better choice. If you want to, but the problem with MP3 is that you lose a little bit of sound quality. Now, I've never been able to hear this loss of sound quality, but you do lose some audio information. That's why the file sizes are smaller. Um, so if you really want to retain all of the audio quality from the audio CD, then you want to use WAV. So in this case, we're going to use uh, the WAV because in the next video, we're going to copy back to an audio CD. All right. Once we've set that, we also want to tell it where we want it to copy these files. So if you go to RIP settings and then more options, the RIP music tab should automatically be selected and we have the location to which the files will be copied. We can change this if we want to. Go to change and then we can select a folder where we want those files to go. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at this default location. So now that I've told it what kind of file to make and where to put those files, now I can hit RIP CD. And it should automatically start copying files from the CD to our computer. So we're just going to wait for one song to get copied, and then we'll look at where we can find the songs once it's done. Okay, so the first song has completed. It's copied to the computer. Let's find it. So it told us it was going to copy these songs to my music folder. So I'm going to go there, find my music folder. And here it made a Janet Jackson folder. Design of a Decade is the album. And here's the songs that it's copied so far. 
So they're in wave format. All right, so that's how you copy songs from a CD to the computer, also known as ripping songs from a CD. In the next video, we'll talk about how to do the reverse, making an audio CD that will play on CD players using songs from our computer.